In recent years, the spotted lanternfly's area of invasion has continued to spread throughout the eastern United States and into the Midwest. And although its preferred host is the also invasive Atlantis tree, these pests will feed on many landscape plants, including fruit trees, hardwoods, and ornamentals. And it's both the springtime nymph and the summertime adult that cause damage to plants by piercing the plant tissue and feeding off the sap that flows from it. And if the population is strong enough, it could cause the branch that they're feeding on to die back, but it's rarely fatal for the tree. However, this feeding causes a sugary waste byproduct called honeydew, which falls and sticks to anything below it. And on that honeydew grows a black fungus called sooty mold. And if it colonizes enough, it could be stressful for the plant, but at the very least, it's an eyesore, sticking to the foliage of understory plants, decking, patio furniture, whatever. It's not pleasant to look at. So there are different ways that you can approach managing spotted lanternfly on your landscape, and a great place to start is with the removal of any ailanthus that you have on your property. Now you may decide to strategically keep one ailanthus tree on your property as what they call a trap tree. Specially formulated traps are designed to attract and kill spotted and lanternfly, and these can help reduce their numbers. Now let's talk predators. Since the spotted lanternfly is native to China, there are no natural predators here in the United States. However, we do have our own native insect and bird predators that can at least help. And this is a great reason for you to incorporate a variety of native plants in your landscape. These plants will encourage and support an ecology of native predators that will definitely contribute to decreasing the number of spotted lanternflies and other invasives. For a more immediate impact, spray treatments are effective. And for a longer term protection, systemic treatments, which are absorbed into a plant's tissue, will continue to kill spotted lanternflies as they feed on the plant, but without harming non-targeted beneficial insects. So there's different ways that you can approach managing this invasive pest, and an integration of those methods can be very effective. So if you're interested in controlling the spotted lanternflies in your landscape, then I would encourage you to have a discussion with a certified arborist about it. And with their help, you could develop a sound strategy that's tailored to your specific situation.